Alex Hanser here, June 12, 2017. We're going to be talking about the changes in the sun in brief. And we're having this conversation now as we complete solar maximum for solar cycle 24. And we're going into a minimum. We're already in the minimum. And I talked with uh, David, who's in the same general area uh, of where I am. He's within about a, an hour's drive or so. And, you know, I started thinking more after talking with him and looking online. We're going to see a video of David uh, talking about maybe the potential spiritual aspects of going into solar minimum. Uh, because we're going to be affected more by the cosmic rays. So, you know, I've talked about the solar maximum, right, and the cycles of war. Some people like to get in fights, and we see migration patterns, and we even see more overdoses. Literally, when there is a solar maximum, and I've hypothesized that it's just, you know, people need to become more balanced with this influx of natural energy. We're not blaming it on the sun. We realize the sun's got to magnify everything that's, that's there. Now, from my experience living... Uh, after the uh, the solar maximum of solar cycle 23, I actually talked about actually addic addiction issues uh, and issues where I was really responding to what was going on on the planet on an emotional level. And then I seemed to have found myself through that pain, through that darkness. And I got involved in the alternative media. That was a very significant cycle. Now, the, the kickoff for me in the alternative media was the solar minimum. As we went through the solar maximum and things settled down and I settled down literally as the sun settled down, it seemed that, and the way I've defined it for years, my left brain seemed more functional. It seemed more easy for me to operate at the workplace, uh, to uh, put together scripts for my TV show. It was the maximum as we kicked off in 2009, 10, 11, 12 all of a sudden being in the city and being around a bunch of unnatural, what I call unnatural electromagnetic pollution, smart meters, cell phone towers, things known, things unknown, all these people. <laughs> um, so I can definitely see through my own experience living there and I've also relocated, right, to this, to this rural area, do a little hiking here behind the property. So I've been thinking about the next couple of years and this new information that isn't really just the solar maximums that can bring out the excited activity. What about the cosmic rays bombarding our Earth's atmosphere with a weakening Earth's magnetic field that is actually much weaker when we see a reduction in sunspots? So if we're going to go to a deep minimum, depending on how deep it's going to be, there are different uh, predictions on what the, the next cycle will be. I think it's gonna be a big one still. But I think after that, we could go into the next um, extended minimum. And there are people that are talking about this now. There are people that use this also for their own political agenda. So there's Trump and the Paris Agreement. Trump can't be trusted no matter what he does. So if anything, this is a move by the part of Trump you know, to try to retain some trust and faith with some liberty-oriented anti-big government individuals. <laughs> but the whole global warming thing, definitely, uh, and you can learn more about that on your own, it is designed to blame humans and not look at the sun. They laugh at people that look at the data of the sun, uh, and they consider them unscientific when most of the science and most of the scientists worldwide cite the sun as the main um, conduit for change in our Earth's temperature. So... Some say that we have completed a solar maximum, a larger maximum cycle, not the 11-year cycle, but a larger cycle of warming and cooling around the late 90s or 1998. So we can now already be in a cycle of cooling. We still have the up and down of the, um, you know, the, the mini solar cycles, the 11-year cycles, but the larger cycles, we're going into a cooling phase as David, a geologist, and others are discussing. But the question is, before we go to David, um, then how are we going to be affected by the increase in cosmic rays and this radiation coming in during the solar minimum? And that's going to be really interesting. You know, and how can we make it a positive thing? And, um, you know, what will it be like right here? We're at 8,000 feet. So, in a way, we're closer to the sun. <laughs> There's also um, something that I'll come back and I'll talk about more with, with greater detail. I, I've referenced it. Several stars are set to collide 
in 2022. Okay, what will be the effect of that on our magnetic um, field and or what will that uh, effect be on the Earth if we have a much weaker magnetic field by that time? I can tell you 2022 is the period in which I think we're already going to be going back into the maximum portion of the cycle, which uh, would be called solar cycle 25. And it's during that period, and I'll close now, we'll go to David. Uh, that I think that we're going to see this uh, stage managed World War III. It could very well be something that they're staging because that may very well be, and this period now, period where we sh really should be connecting with the cosmos and higher consciousness. War is the, ax the last thing we should be focused on and engaged in. And um, that's why they want to take us there, I believe. They want to, um, they want to prevent our evolution by any means necessary. I'll be back with more.